This is gold medal winning U.S. gymnast Simone Biles doing a layout. And this is Sapien Technology Evangelist June Blender doing a layout. And another one. And another one. Now I'll be the first to concede that Simone's is much more impressive than mine. But in PowerShell Studio, layouts are about customizing your environment so that it works best for you and makes you most efficient. Let me show you how they work. In PowerShell Studio, a layout is the arrangement and position of the panes, panels, and windows in PowerShell Studio. You can see them all here on the Panels menu. It's easy to move the panes and panels around. You know that you can move tabs around, but you can also move the panels and panes. You can pin them so that they don't recede when you move away from them. And you can also move them from place to place. For example, I can grab this function pane and move it over here on the far left instead of the far right. I can also do some very fancy things. So I'm going to pin my console pane, then grab the console pane and drag it and you'll see that a compass appears. As I move the pane to the positions displayed by the compass, it shows me where my pane would end up if I dropped it there. And you can see all of the different positions in which I can place that console. I'll put it over here, and I can even dock it as a tab document. So I've changed my console from a pane to a tab. I actually like mine over here. Whoops. And if you end up with a layout that you really don't like, it's really easy to come down here to the Layouts menu and go back to a layout that you prefer. And, and it happens to everyone, if you accidentally close one of your panes and can't find it, you can come right back up here to the Panels menu and display it again and reposition it or just come back to the Layout menu and choose a layout that you prefer. And once you have the panes arranged the way you like them, you can save the layout and reuse it. So I can do Layout, Save Layout, and you can see that I've saved my side-by-side -side layout and a debug layout. And then I can use them anytime I want. So I can switch from the default editor layout to the editor only layout to my side by side layout by using my layouts menu. PowerShell Studio automatically switches the layout based on the activity in the window. So if I'm editing a script, by default, it will switch to my editor layout. But if I'm debugging, it switches to the debug layout. You can enable and disable this auto layout feature. If you're new, I recommend that you leave it enabled so the PowerShell Studio can arrange the panes for you in the ways that it's most likely to be useful. And as you become more experienced, you can change the layouts around to suit your needs. PowerShell Studio saves layouts for you for three different conditions. Let me show you. On the Home tab, click Options, 
and then click Panels. And in the Auto Layout group, you'll see that PowerShell Studio saves an editor layout, a designer layout for PowerShell GUI development, and a debugging layout. And you can select from the layout menu any layout that you want to be your default editor layout, your default designer layout, or your default debugging layout. By default, the editor layout is really the default, but I've changed mine to editor only. You can also change your debugging layout, and you'll notice that I've changed mine from the default, which is debug layout, to my debug layout, which is a little bit different. And anytime you want to change your layout, just come down to the layouts menu and click the layout that you want to keep. PowerShell Studio layouts aren't nearly as impressive as Simone Biles' gravity-defying flips, but on a busy day, if a layout improves your productivity, it might be just as important to you. Thanks for listening.